Hi everybody, April here, and after today's ceremony, um, I was hearing that I need to share with the group, once again, the, um, the medicine bag. And not many people understand the big medicine bag. You know, of course we get the little ones that we wear around our neck and those type of things, but what they're meaning is the medicine bag that we can have with us for at any point in time when we need to stop and do ceremony or we need to stop and offer healing or whatever, um, it's something that's there. Commonly, when I lived down in the Four Corners, I would find a lot of different animals that had been killed and I would stop frequently and I would do ceremony, um, honoring their lives, honoring their path, their journey. And, you know, in Alaska, we did this all the time. We did it as a group. We did it individually. And they're saying that it's now time to rebirth the medicine bag. And for those that are new to the group and don't know what it is, how it's put together, that type of thing, that's something I feel like I need to share. For those that are users of the medicine bags, I invite you to please add in the comments below any items that I may have forgotten or items that you found are really useful to have in your bags, that type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera here. Right there is the bag that I like to carry and keep with me. It's my personal medicine bag. And I also have, see if I can bring it over, I have this little portable jobby that I like to keep in the car. This little guy actually helps me when I'm doing work and I don't want to have the big full bag with me. So a couple of the things that you're going to want to put in here is your prayer cloth, if you have one. That actually helps during the time of, of bringing the energy together, and it's always something good to add into the center of a ceremony so that it can get the energy and the, um, the vibration of that ceremony. Always want to have a fire stick with you. That works. <laughs> Unlike today when I started the first video, of the ceremony for at three. Um, of course, my fire stick did not want to work, so we had to start over. Um, a fire safe container that you can use for doing, um, if you're going to use cleansing um, fires, if you're going to use the salts, um, you're going to be burning herbals. <coughs> One time when we were doing ceremony in an area in Alaska where fires were banned, we only were allowed to continue because we had the fire safe container. Um, you also want to have a heat protector, um, little trivet type of thing to keep from, if you're doing it on somebody's floor or something like that, that it won't create um, a hot spot and make a burn mark. Um, if you can get a hold of 91 proof um, rubbing alcohol to use with your fire, it's an excellent accelerant. It'll start the process. Some candles for lighting the way. Um, really beneficial if you're doing a fire ceremony. You know, it's nice to have those with you. Some different kinds of salts. Um, you can use the color salts. You can have just a salt item that you can put in there and have it as well. Some resins, depending on what you're going to do. Working tools, if you like to work, for example, with a pendulum, make sure that you have a pendulum or some other tool with you that's going to help you as you're doing your ceremony. It's going to help you as you're doing the process. Um, I always also have a shelf. And I like the shell for doing the herbals, any herbals that you might want to have with you, um, any of those type of things that you may be offering. And whenever you do a ceremony or whenever you gather anything or you've spent time on the earth, you always want to offer an offering. And so I always keep different um, types of tobacco that I can do as an offering back to the earth. Another good one is the horse tail. Um... And then you always want to have something to cut through the energy, like if you've got a negative energy and you want to cut through it or you want to bring in healing. A knife is really nice. A pair of scissors works for that. Um, if you're working with air, you want to have a rattle to help set the sound. Um, you want to have the feathers to help um, clean and to move the energies around, that type of thing. Fetishes, if you like to work with little fetishes, you can have those in there as well to set out and to have be a part of your ceremony and or whatever the work is you're needing to do. For example, if I have stopped and I'm helping um, the spirit of cleansing the energy of an animal that had been killed along the side of the road, I'll do a little bit of smudge. 
I'll use the feather to help release. And I'll use the rattle to help sending that energy back home. I also like to carry, a, like this is going to help me, I also like to carry a set of um, portable medicine wheel stones, the 41 stones for the medicine wheel, simply because I work with the medicine wheel a lot, and that's something I like to keep with me when I'm doing that type of thing. Some of the other things can be some of the crystals and some of the different little things that you can use in your ceremony, um, those type of things. Think of what is that you could possibly need as a tool in your medicine bag to help you to enhance your process of doing, you know, the, the medicine work that you may be called to do. One of the other things I like to keep with me is a little notebook and a pen. That way if I get a download or if a bit of information comes to me or I see something that's important for me to deal with, I write it down. And that way I have um, a way to remember it so I won't forget. And if I document it by just a few words, then I can know what I'm, you know, what I remember from it, that type of thing. Um, also, you want to keep a little containers with you that if you're doing like a, um, a water ceremony, you can gather or offer water. Um, and you also want to keep like some plastic bags with you so that you can. And the energy is high, so like this is getting high energy. Um, so if you're gathering, you know, like you want to gather a couple stones or, you know, the earth has um, given you gifting as of some sort, you can put it in there for remembrance from that ceremony and from that time. So anyhow, that's kind of the quick down and, and short version of what you want to keep with you and what you want to have with you. Like I said, I carry my full bag, which is right there. And I keep that one with me, especially when I'm doing a lot of work. And my little portable bag, which has very similar to those items in the bag that I keep with me in the car at all times. So, like I said, if I ever come across something and it needs me to do some immediate work, I'm available to do it. I've got the, the, the stuff with me, the tools that I like to work with. Anyhow, um, once again, I have to share this with you. And if any of the folks who work with medicine bags would like to add more information, please do so um, to share with the group and to share with those that are in the group. Some items that you might like to work with or some things that you don't particularly like to keep with you um, and why. Those are just some of the different things like the salts are salts that I have and they all have a different purpose for the colors. It's something we sell through the business. Um, I like to keep St. John's wort with me because when stop and when I want to do things to help bring in the vibration of removing the depression and the heaviness that's in an area I'll use the St. John's work to help lift that energy up so each has a little bit of a different little bit of a different energy about it and work with it so as you're doing and learning what each one of these things can do and be of service to the planet around us and to those that are residing in that planet and in that space that we're, we're working with, it's really important to have all those little features and all those little things with us. So like I said, I felt led to share. Hope it's been a blessing and talk to you later.